Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, we'll be seeing the infrared modulation techniques and we have two different techniques in this. So uh, we'll be seeing the very first techniques and some of the methods of how this technique is used. So we have the digital baseband modulation technique. So uh, we have around seven different techniques uh, in uh, digital baseband modulation technique. And so we'll be uh, seeing it one by one and a brief introduction of each of these techniques. So uh, digital baseband technique is uh, what's basically is in this the data is not translated to a high carrier frequency means like the data as and when it comes it's treated in the same way but not it's being amplitude or just put into some higher frequency level and then it's uh, later altered. So uh, that kind of alteration and truncation of the signals is not there in this. So uh, we start with the very first uh, technique that is we have the on off keying OOK. So uh, this is the most reported modulation techniques along with intensity modulation and direct detection. IM for intensity modulation and DD for direct detection. Uh, next in this we have a signal in uh, means of an optical pulse and it represents a full or a part of a bit of data. And if so, if you uh, signify that thing, uh, then it represents uh, one bit. Else if there is an absence of an optical pulse or if there is no signal coming then uh, it's meant that zero bit is there. Uh, next we move on to the second uh, technique that is we have the pulse position modulation that is the PPM. So uh, this is an orthogonal baseband modulation technique due to its superior power efficiency. So unlike all the other techniques this has got a specialized uh, feature over the power efficiency. And since it's orthogonal means it's uh, independent of the other signals and it works at the right angles. Uh, next it's used for handheld low power consuming devices like you have the IRDA laptop and palm top. So IRDA is nothing but uh, infrared data association. So uh, it's a kind of uh, association there which is used for transmitting the high frequency signals or waves. And so it's uh, equipped with specialized ports on certain devices like printers and scanners for uh, carrying out this uh, modulation technique. Uh, next we have the uh, third one that is an improvement over the uh, previous pulse position modulation that is we have the differential pulse position modulation and so it targets on improving the bandwidth as well as the throughput by removing the empty slots which we call in the PPM symbol. So in PPM symbol uh, whenever you see uh, the uh, signal on a graph you can see some empty slots. So those empty slots are differentiated and it's been removed and then further processed. Next we have the uh, fourth one that is the differential amplitude modulation uh, for PPM. So it's like you have the pulse position, differential pulse position and here you just improve the amplitude. So differential amplitude pulse position modulation mm -hmm. DA PPM. Mm -hmm. So uh, it has much more improvements over the PPM as well as the DPPM and the bandwidth requirements are met in this. And then you have an uh, PA PPR uh, that is the peak to average power ratio and the capacity is increased and so it's a combination of both the pulse position modulation and differential pulse position modulation which gives rise to DA PPM. So uh, the pulse position techniques ends here and next you have the digital pulse interval modulation that is DPIM. So uh, in this what you have the each of the signal in each signal you have each block of lock the base to L data bits. So L represents a signal length and that data bit is mapped to L symbols and it starts with a pulse and uh, there is a subsequent series of the empty slots in this and it represents a duplicate image of the DPPM symbol. So uh, in this when you see you have the empty slots and here it starts with a pulse and then it considers the empty slots but here it removes. So you can uh, just assume this and duplicate image of the DPPM symbols and here the original signal is uh, mapped to locked the base to L bits. Next we have the sixth one that is the dual header pulse interval modulation DHPIM. So it start with uh, two headers so the signal basically has two headers that is HN and DN. So HN uh, is a first header and puts the symbols and the information slots on the DN. So this carries some symbols and information that is a slot information and then it just deposits over the other header. 
and it has uh, got on the most significant bit that is the MSB and you have uh, two fields or two code words that you can uh, see here that is two code words are assumed in this for MSB that is H0 and H1 and H0 represents the uh, most significant bit of 0 and H1 represents the most significant bit of 1. Next we have the final uh, modulation technique that is the multi-level digital PIM, MDPIM. So it's evolved from the DHPIM which was there in the previous one and here every block of the M bit data. So in this, this signal is considered as a block and so it's divided into M bit of data and the data comes from the input OOK that is the on of king signal and the data is mapped to L is equal to 2 M possible symbols. And so uh, then further the modulation technique is carried out by using uh, various equipment. So well, that was all regarding the digital baseband modulation techniques uh, in wireless technology. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you got educated by watching this video, please do like, share, comment and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching this video.